Shalom. Baruch Abba, Le Sarid, Coram Lee, Anthony. Hello and welcome to Sarid. They call me Anthony. Thank you so much for joining us here for our weekly Torah teaching on the coming of Adonai Yahushua HaMashiach according to the word of Yahuwah Elohim. We praise Yahuwah Elohim for the great wisdom and insight he has given us in his word to share with you concerning this most pressing issue about the coming of his Ben, Adonai Yahushua HaMashiach. To the Kodeshim out there, Torah Rabbah, many thanks for your comments and for your support. You are joining us here for the first time. You have come to the right place. Your orientation videos, orientation one and orientation two, that will help you in your understanding of how we look at scripture here. And now that we are assembled, the sacrifice for sin is complete and forgiveness is in order now. But there is a warning that comes with it. So let's go over these things with the believers. Temokani, if you're ready. Well, Yikra chapter 5, we'll be looking at verse 12 this week, followed by Yahushua chapter 2. We'll be looking at 24, and then 2nd Yochanan, we'll be looking at chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. These are the restored name, or the New King James Version of the Scriptures, with some things restored. Then he shall bring it to the Kohen. And the Cohen shall take his hand full of it as a memorial portion. And they said to Yahushua, Truly Yahuwah has delivered all the land into our hands. The elder to the elect lady and her children, whom I love in truth, but not only I, but also all those who have known the truth. <clears throat> so to survey these lines, then he shall bring it to the coin. As we pick up from last week, it here for the survey are the birds. And it represents how the birds were used to bring out the truth in the witnesses to atone for sin. And then forgiveness can be realized so that Yahuwah can begin to fulfill the oath and usher in salvation at the same time. <clears throat> but first, sin has to be addressed. The birds were used to demonstrate sin. Sin against Yahuwah concerning what the spies said. It is what they said that contained sin. Seen as it. The witnesses told the truth of the whole matter concerning all that had befallen them in the spy mission concerning Rahab. Yochanan sees Rahab and her relatives as the elect lady and her children. Elect, chosen and used by Yahuwah to demonstrate his will. A demonstration for all to see and understand what is needed to obtain salvation through the Kohen, Yahushua, HaMashiach. As for Rahab, she represented every religion in the world, okay, for the big picture of salvation, because her house was the house of a harlot. She was, among other things, a spiritual whore, and she was wide open. Her story demonstrates how anyone can repent from the world's religious deception and do the things needed in order to be saved, like keep the Pesach and follow the believers who are doing those types of things, committing yourself by oath. And if Rahab can do it, then so can everyone else. The men told the truth about Rahab and her relatives. Yochanan loves what happened because of Rahab's commitment 
to following the truth. And he says so. To the elect lady and her children, whom I love in truth. This is beautifully written here and lets us know that something like that story was playing out during the time of Yochanan. And something like this is even playing out now here at Sari. The Kohen, of course, this is seen as Yahushua. Down below, he again is the chief operating officer over the people having been given this charge by Yahuwah Elohim, who is speaking in the line of Reyikra. Yochanan sees Yahushua as the elder. And this is true in another way. Because aside from Caleb, all the men who came up with him from Mitzrayim had died in the wilderness, many because of disbelief. Yahushua was truly an elder at this point in the story. So Yochanan sees him as the elder in his response. He sees him this way to liken them to an assembly that is being prepared to go into battle during the time of Yochanan. An assembly groomed in the ways of truth. Yochanan witnesses to the thing that has set them apart for their witness going forward to spread the good news of Yahushua's triumph over spiritual affairs in the high places. Triumphs that were just beginning in the book of Yahushua and coming to pass during the time of Yochanan to set the stage for the all-important return to finish the deal here in our time. We are being spied on, so remember that. This is a foreshadow of a bigger picture that I have mentioned several times in parts of this witness. And that foreshadow is seen during the times of Yochanan as having now been realized by Yochanan. Yahushua has indeed paved a way. And so Yahuwah says, And the Kohen shall take his hand full of it as an aloftah, memorial portion, okay? It, once again here, is truth. The mark of the accusative is on the memorial. Askara, H234, is a memorial offering. Okay, so this is all set up as an offering, and it is from the word Zakar, H2142, and Zakar means to remember, to call to mind, and keep in remembrance. Truth. Remember it, because it will be needed if you want to be saved. So don't overlook this portion. Everlasting life is tied to this remembrance. The land everlasting has been given to Yahushua. He is the Kohen Haggadah. The mark of the accusative is also on all the land. The land everlasting has been delivered into his hands and not our hands. So it also functions here as part of the sin of the men. Okay? Part of the sin of the men that got us to this sin offering of the birds in the first place. The sin they committed was taking credit for something only Yahuwah could do. By making this statement, it also becomes the memorial of that sin. The men did not understand the vision. They were looking at this takeover from an earthly view, when in reality, this was a foreshadow of something they would not experience until after death. At that time, they would fully understand. And the Kohen shall take his handful of it, or the Kohen shall take his handful of truth. Okay, so the men say to Yahushua, truly, truly, having given witness to all that had befallen them truthfully, they say, truly, Yahuwah has delivered Aleph 
all the land into our hands. Our hands. This is truly a handful here. Only this is not the handful that Yahuwah is talking about. This is the handful of the type of sin that has played the spies throughout the witness. They are taking credit for the work of Yahuwah again. Okay? Spies are making this about the whole assembly by saying, our hands. A lot of hands involved here. So Yahushua only gets a handful here for the written account because so many people are now involved. Yahuwah told Yahushua, I will be with you. He has given the victory to Yahushua. We know this because the book has his name on it. This statement is now seen as the memorial of the sin they have committed against Yahuwah. They're doing it against Yahushua. They are unaware of it. Shows up here for the Adu. Once again, if you remember the other sin, they spoke to Rahab doing the oath saying, and if you tell this Alephtah business of ours, then we will be free from your oath which, which you made us swear. If you tell this Alephtah business of ours, this was the sin. This was a sin when the verse was first used in the two times previously, if you remember, and it is still a sin. This also is seen as a memorial portion. A memorial portion, meaning a portion of that verse is now going to be explained. And the portion is, this verse now lets us know what the business was. They say, truly, Yahuwah has delivered Aleph all the land, into our hands. The mark of the accusative is on all the land. This is symbolic of the land everlasting, as well as the land of Canaan. Eretz also identifies with the spiritual part of the definition for 7, H776. It symbolizes the land of everlasting everlasting life, as well as who the land was being given to. The mark of the accusative is on all, all the land, all of Tal land, everlasting. This is what the business was all about, everlasting life. The, lands belong, the land belongs to all of Tal. After Moshe died, Yahuwah told Yahushua, I will be with you. As I mentioned before, he was not talking about everybody else. He was talking about the person that he was talking to at that time. Alephtah himself is here in the lines of survey and seen by name. They said this to Yahushua. Alephtah land, it belongs to him. And aside from that, as I mentioned, the book bears his name. <laughs> Yahushua divided the land to the tribes. This is the book of the salvation of Yahuwah. And he is giving all authority of Chaim Olam to one person to distribute as he pleases. And once Yahushua takes control of the land, then he will divide the spoils of the inheritance concerning everyone who calls on his name and repents from wicked deeds. Okay? Caused by world religion. This, too, is a memorial, so remember that. Rahab was of this sort, and Yochanan rejoices over her decision, saying, Whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also all those who have known the truth. And we rejoice with him. Amen. So Yahushua now takes his portion. And burn it on the Mitzbeach according to the offerings made by fire to Yahuwah. It is a sin offering. So there it is. For indeed, all the inhabitants of the country are faint-hearted because of us. <laughs> because of the truth which abides in us and will be with us forever. <laughs> and burn it. Sacrifice it on the Mitzbeach. 
According to the offerings made by fire to Yahuwah, it is a sin offering. The offering made by fire had to be set in order on the Mitzbeah. Okay, so let me do that by noting from the beginning, indeed, all the inhabitants of the country are faint-hearted because of Yahuwah. They heard the stories that bore witness to Yahuwah. They, like us, will benefit from what Yahuwah is doing. By saying, indeed, all the inhabitants of the country are faint-hearted because of us, is reminding us of the sin of the two men. They keep using words like our and us to identify with something that is just not true. Everlasting life is the business of Yahuwah, period. It's not ours to say we own it. This is about ownership. Yahuwah established it for Yahushua, and as believers of that, we can enjoy what is established. But no one can take credit for that. Yahuwah is doing this. This is the it that is being burned in the survey line down in Yahushua by the spies when they make that statement. Okay, I just set that in order because they continue to say the same thing another way. Yahuwah says it is a sin offering, meaning an example of what the survey lines are talking about. Yochanan looks at it with a better understanding. He sees the truth of the matter because of the truth which abides in us and will be with us forever. The truth in the story is that Yahushua is the Kohen of the Kohanim, and the memorial portion was his and not ours. No one gets Chaim Olam unless they come through Adonai Yahushua HaMashiach. It is given to him, and he will share it with those who understand the truth of this matter. This is the truth that will be with us forever. Amen. We're here for chapter 5, verse 13 now. Look in 2 Yochanan, chapter 1, verse 3, and the book of Yahushua, chapter 3, verse 1. The Kohen shall make atonement for him for his sin that he has committed in any of these matters. Then Yahushua rose early in the morning and they set out from Shittim. Favor, mercy, and peace be with you. <clears throat> the Kohen here for the survey is Yahushua who rose early in the morning to make atonement for the sin of the men. The Kohen shall make atonement for him, whichever one or both of the spies, for his sin that he has committed in any of these matters. The matters are everything that happened while they were in Shittim. The spies were from, were from Shittim, and they were sent by Yahushua from Shittim to spy out the land of Canaan especially Yericho. Everything that happened from the time they left to go on the mission, everything concerning those matters they faced and the journey that led to the oath taken with Rahab, all they confessed to, some of it was sin that was seen according to the animal sacrifices. Something had to die for what they did, for any sin committed. And theirs was of the highest order against Yahuwah and demonstrated in their recorded comments. Comments like our lives for yours, this out of time business of ours. Indeed, all the inhabitants of the country are faint hearted because of us. You know, the word of Yahuwah revealed all of those verses contained sin. It was a sin and it was revealed as such. 
Yahuwah was a better witness. He is the mighty one of Yisrael, and they failed to recognize that here for the survey of the Adu. And some of that was a sin that leads to death, although they were unaware of it. So this is serious, and they will need all the help they can get. Yochanan simply says, favor, mercy, and peace be with you. This is the atonement for him, one of the spies. But all is forgiven now that it has been revealed, and they set out from Shittim. Now the footnote reads, Hebrew Shittim. Okay. This is once again highlighting the arrogance of Christian scholars. First, they word this phrase to say Joshua in the New King James Version there. Then Joshua rose early in the morning. Joshua cannot atone for anyone's sin because there was no one by that name present at that time in history. So only Yahushua can do that according to these matters. And Christians know this because they took the time to change the word, uh, to change Acacia Grove to the Ibrit word Shatim. They recognized this in the footnote and put it on display. This is wicked and evil because if you're going to recognize one proper noun in the sentence, then most certainly the name above all names should make the headlines as well. This is a proper noun too, Yahushua, because without Yahushua, none of this takes place in Shatim. Okay, you have to see video 75, the reconnaissance mission, to see the survey on those lines to understand the importance of Shatim as it related to Adonai Yahushua. It's on the YouTube page. Let's look at this other footnote. <clears throat> NU and MTEX both sign on for the footnote in Yokona. Okay. They're back here spying. NU text and M text read us. Okay, and this made no sense in the written account of Yochanan without a survey on the line. Because Yochanan is responding to someone and speaking words of favor upon them. Saying favor, mercy, and peace be with you. Once again, the Christian leadership grandstands here in the verse. They say favor, mercy, and peace will be with us. So you be the judge. They say this as though they have all favor from the deity they chose to worship that is written in the verse, okay, by replacing the name of Yahushua with still another name, you know, a false name that is not on this line of survey, but found in this same verse, okay? Okay, we'll be seen in the next line of survey. Same thing they did with Shatim, they do down here. That just reinforces the importance of Shatim as it relates to Yahushua. So they are wrong in the changes they have made, and there will be no atonement for what they did. Because the atonement was for him, according to the word of Yahuwah in the line of Weyikra above, so it should read down below, favor, mercy, and peace be with you. This is him in the line above and not us. You is correct because it addresses the witness of both accounts. The one in Weyikra as well as down below for Yochanan's time. The two are coming together to bear witness of the atoning power given to Yahushua to perform on the man. That was a day of atonement for him and not us. And it shall be forgiven him. And came to the yard. 
from Yahuwah, the Ab, and from the Adon, Yahushua, Hamashiach. And it shall be forgiven him and came to the Yarden. We know that the Yarden means to descend, to come down of revelation is in the definition. So this forgiveness to him has come down of revelation from Yahuwah, the Ab, and from the Adon, Yahushua, Hamashiach. So he is truly forgiven. How awesome is that? Yahuwah is using this survey to let us know that he himself has forgiven the spies for their sins in the matters of Shittim. And if he brought this part of the oath to pass, then the expectations they shared with Rahab is soon to follow. And of course, the Cohen has performed the act and so has forgiven everything regarding those matters of the recon mission as well. The matters of Shittim are forgiven from the Adon, Yahushua, HaMashiach as well. So ultimate forgiveness is on display here, forgiveness of the highest order, from Yahuwah the Ab and from the Adon, Yahushua, HaMashiach. The rest shall be the Cohen's as a grain offering. He and all B'nai Yisrael and lodged there before they crossed over. The Ben of Ab and truth and love. All of this is given to Adonai Yahushua. He is the Cohen seen as he in the line of Yahushua and the Ben of Ab further down in the line of Yochanan. Ab, this is Yahuwah, the one speaking in the line of Wayikra, the beginning of their understanding. He is giving the rest of this to the Kohen as a grain offering. He is to do with as he pleases because the other verses using the birds were done to satisfy the wrath of Yahuwah on the sin of the men doing the oath, who unknowingly led people to believe that this business of taking over the land of Canaan, especially Yericho, was because of their power, when in actuality everyone was talking about the great signs and wonders that Yahuwah had done. When he bought them out of the when he bought them out of Mitzrayim, if you remember, they said this Alaptah business of ours, your life for ours, all of that was sin, demonstrated um, once again by the bird sacrifices. So the men were taking credit for something that only Yahuwah could do. And as I have mentioned, crossing over the Yarden and taking over the land of Canaan. Uh, is symbolic of restoring the truth about everlasting life to the then known world to be taught to all generations. And this we know to be true even here for our time, albeit twisted because it is not finished. The truth about who the creator is and how to obtain the life everlasting is going to be restored. But up to this point, all people were using to refer to everlasting life and a way to obtain it was fabricated and promoted from Canaan, the Ben of Ham, whom Noah cursed. Canaan had knowledge of everlasting life, but it was evil, cursed. And all the nations followed that curse, the greatest of them being Mitzrayim. Yahuwah is setting the record straight using the same people he brought out of Mitzrayim to cross over and destroy the root cause of religious deception. It stemmed from this high place called Yericho, its moon. They are now lodged at the Yarden before they cross over, on the way to the moon, if you will, to establish a religion that has stood to this day called the witness of Yahuwah, here for the Adu. All power and authority is now being given to the Kohen, and as the chief operating official governing the spiritual affairs of men, 
to ensure Chaim Olam for all who put their trust in him for the saving of their soul so that the judgment of Yahuwah can be satisfied, he is now receiving a grain offering. Mincha is a tribute, a gift or present from Yahuwah. Souls here in the line of survey. The souls are the grain offering, a meat offering, viewed as all B'nai Yisrael. They all lodged there before they crossed over, according to Yochanan, in truth and love. The understanding here is the Ab, or is the Ben of Ab, is the Kohen Haggadah. This we know from the survey lines is Yahushua. He and all B'nai Yisrael, in truth of love, in, in truth and love, this is best understood as he and all who believe Elohim will prevail. Truth and love. Well, Yikra chapter 5, we'll be looking at verses 14 and 15. That is Leviticus chapter 5, 14 and 15, followed by the witness of Yahushua chapter 3. We'll be looking at verses 2 and 3. Then um, 2 Yochanan chapter 1, we're going to be looking at verses 4 and 5. And because of the length of the verses, uh, we're going to have to survey this one in the next frame. Then Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, If a person commits a trespass, and sins unintentionally. So it was after three days that the officers went through the camp. I rejoice greatly that I found some of your children walking in truth. So first and foremost, this is a warning. Okay. Having dealt with the forgiveness for the spies concerning their mission, this begins something different. This is about the people now. This is a warning to them not to try anything like what the spies did. And very important for the people so that all goes well with anyone and everyone involved. Because this is Yahuwah's doing first and foremost. And if any one of the people are going to be present during this great victory by Yahuwah, then we must all follow the rules. They are the rules for salvation and necessary because ignorance will not be tolerated by Yahuwah. So right after dealing with the spies, this warning goes out. And this is why he warns us so that we don't become consumed because of worldly affairs and practice disrespect, you know, for belief in Yahuwah. Because to see him is to die and to set foot on the Kodesh ground where his presence dwells is just as fatal. So every precaution is taken as the people are warned here in these verses, because Yahuwah is with them. And this warning is still binding, as you will see in the survey. Then Yahuwah spoke to Moshe. Moshe, his name means drawn, so the ones drawn are the officers that went through the camp. These are people that have come to warn during the time of Yahushua and are now checking to see if anyone commits a trespass during the time of Yochanan. If a soul commits trespass. This word for commits trespass is me'al. It is the same word twice, me'al, me'al, commits trespass, and it means to act untrustworthy or unfaithfully against Yahuwah. Against Yahuwah, a man or a devoted thing. To treat treacherously against either of those. In this case, it is Yahuwah. So it was, is prophetic and referring to the verse above as playing out 
in both the book of Yahushua and the time of Yochanan, as well as here for the Edu. After three days is symbolic of a period of time, the end of a certain time. It's in the definition. The officials went through to check. Shotah, the word for officer, is from an unused root, meaning to write. The writing of the officials went through. The writing made it through a period of time. This is understanding. It reached us here at the end of a certain time. It went through. The message got through. The word for through is Kareb, H7130, is the bits or the inner part. <clears throat> this is a person's inward parts, the seat of thought and emotion. This is where the heart and mind of a person dwells in the midst of the soul. If a soul commits a trespass, this verse is letting us know <clears throat> the understanding um, the, of the writing of the officials have passed through time. And the effects are still relevant to this day. And those who follow in the truth, they dwell in the camp of those following the writings of Moshe. Played out during the time of Yochanan. We see it in his, in his witness. <clears throat> As an officer, Yochanan does a check on the people to see if they are implementing things that promote the truths found in the writings of Moshe. And he, and he reports, saying, I rejoice greatly that I have found some of your children walking in truth. This exhortation from Yochanan is not only words for those with him, but words for us here. Those who are following and doing the things that you have been instructed by the word of Yahuwah to do here for the time of the Edut. You too are recognized as walking in truth, if indeed you are doing the things you have been shown. So it was then, so it is now, that the word speaks to us. So we are being watched over. The officials are here for the Edut. And there are some committing a trespass and sin unintentionally. Shagag, H7683, is a mental error, going astray ignorantly or inadvertently. This comes from not paying attention and being lackluster. We know this because down below, some were walking in truth, meaning some were not. This is the trespass and unintentional sin in the survey of those verses that Yahuwah is talking about. Some of them were guilty of this. As it was then, so it is now. So it was after a period of time, the understanding of the officers have come to the camp, all hands on deck to promote and build up the next generation. The call went out. Some have responded. Some have not. If you have not come aboard to aid and assist the assembly, you may be the some who commit trespass and sins unintentionally. In regard to the Kodesh things of Yehovah, and they commanded the people, as we received mitzvah from Ab. In regard to the Kodesh things of Yahuwah, Kodesh, this is set apartness. Set apartness of his name, of places where he dwells, and of things used to worship him. We must be set apart in our speaking and worshiping Yahuwah and not liking it to the things of this world order, okay? All of which are covered in the mitzvah, the commandments of Yahuwah, <clears throat> all of them. 
The Kodesh things of Yahuwah are to be treated with honor, along with humble respect and humility in doing so. It should be treated with the utmost respect. The officers commanded the Isle of Tah people. The mark of the accusative is on the people. These are not only people following Yahushua, they are expecting Chaim Olam through the promise of Yahuwah. Okay? The officials commanded the Isle of Tah people. Sawah means to give instructions, to give a charge to, also to appoint and commission to give instructions. They commanded the Isle of Tah people, told the people what needed to be done, because if anyone was doing something wrong, this hindered the progress of the people, because Yahuwah is now involved. And that person would be identified and then be put to death. If not by the people, then certainly by Yahuwah. This is why the officers came. They came to warn the people. This is not the, 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 the Lord God of Christianity. This is Yahuwah Elohim. This is Yahuwah Elohim. And when a lack of respect for him is displayed by whoever, Know that death will follow. This is how Yahuwah Elohim rolls. First, a warning to the people. And this is what Yochanan means when he says, as we received mitzvah from Ab. According to Yochanan, they got the same message. They had to do the same thing the word instructed the people to do during the time of Yahushua. What they wrote and commanded them to do is what we too received from our same mitzvah. One Torah for everybody. Does not matter where you are. What matters is coming alongside to promote the agenda. Then he shall bring to Yahuwah his trespass offering, a ram without blemish, from the flocks. When you see the aroma of the barit of Yahuwah, your Elohim, and now I plead with you, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment to you, but that which we have had from the beginning. Then he shall bring to Yahuwah as his trespass offering. He here is whoever trespasses in regard to the Kodesh things of Yahuwah, seen as you down in the lines below. At Ashamu is an Aleftah trespass. Okay, the mark of the accusative is on the trespass. This is a violation that affects everlasting life, you know, your spiritual life, at a shame of a trespass offering. The offering here is being made known in the lines below. It is playing out as a trespass offering. The trespass offering is guilt, fault for sin or an offense, and compensation for the offense. Trespass offering. This is how the survey flows. This has to be brought to Yahuwah. He here in the verse is you down in Yochanan, or down in Yahushua. When you see, Ra'ah, the word for see, is identifying with the senses, meaning to look, learn, discern, and give attention to something. Okay? When you see it. When you have an understanding of the Aron, of the Barit, of Yahuwah, your Elohim. Okay, we see right here in this verse, this is brought to Yahuwah. You see his great and awesome name is in the line below. The Barit of Yahuwah, your Elohim. It's brought to Yahuwah right there. It is the same Barit that Yochanan speaks of 
to the lady. He too is dealing with you in the verse as it reads, and now I plead with you, you lady who is trying to be saved, she and her family. The word lady in the Greek is identifying a person in charge and has to make a decision for those in her care. Yochanan is pleading with her to continue in the ancient paths so as not to trespass against Yahuwah. Saying, not as though I wrote a new commandment to you, but that which we have had from the beginning. What is from the beginning is found in the Aron, in the line above. It is the Berit of Yahuwah Elohim. Yahuwah is who they worship from the beginning. Bring that to Yahuwah. Take an oath according to the covenant with his name in your understanding when you see it and follow what you have been shown according to the offering. Come to Yahuwah with a ram. Okay, ram without blemish from the flocks. Okay, this represents the person who is to assist you in the trespass offering, the ram. The ram, a yield, H352 is a ram. It is also used as a strong man or leader or chief. This is someone prominent, according to the root. This is seen as the officers because they now begin to speak in the verse of Yahushua. They're speaking here. So here's the ram. They have a, a ram's horn message for the people. And the warning is dire. <clears throat> the warning is dire. And another ram for another time is Yochanan. He follows up saying, and now I, and now I am doing the same thing they did back then. Saying, I plead with you, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment to you, but that which we have had from the beginning. What they had from the beginning, as I mentioned, was found in the Aron. This is a chest that looked like a coffin. The root means to gather. The Berit of Yahuwah Elohim is inside of it. The understanding is, if you want to have everlasting life <clears throat> after the coffin, the covenant of Yahuwah is necessary. It is known today as the Ark of the Covenant. It is somewhere, or it is where some of the writings of Moshe were kept. Okay? It brought everlasting life to those who take hold of it and do it. The mark of the accusative is on the trespass offering, and it is found on the word C as well, the understanding of everlasting life. Et re'ah, okay? Also, it's on the word arom. The mark of the accusative is on those words. You see it on the screen. To continue the survey, um, the ram is to be without blemish there. The word for blemish there is H8549. Tamim is describing something that is complete, whole, and sound what is complete or entirely in accord, in accord with truth and fact. Complete, finished, and at an end. This is the Berit of Yahuwah found in the Aron. It is truth and fact, a complete understanding of everlasting life and how to obtain it. Okay, the officer says, when you see it, and according to Yochanan, it is that which we have had from the beginning. Okay, they are both officers, rams from the flocks, speaking of something that is absolutely necessary. And this is just another witness that there is no new covenant. As Christianity would have people think. It is the same one from the beginning and it is not to be blemished. Okay, 
And if it is, it is trespassing. But so that you understand clearly, the ram must be from the flock. The word for flock is used as a metaphor recognizing a certain people. It is from an unused root, meaning to migrate. Okay? People are going to follow the word of Yahuwah. See it on the screen. The word of Yahuwah was written by Moshe in Weyikra. It migrated down to Yahushua. When you see it, and then migrated to the time of Yochanan. He is speaking of the same thing I am witnessing to here for the Edu. Okay, the orderly account of these things. Okay. With your valuation in shekels of silver, according to the shekel of the Kodesh, as a trespass offering. <clears throat> and the Kohinim, the Liwayim, bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. That we love one another. With your valuations, we survey these lines. Eric, age 6187, means row or order. Things that are set in order. This word for valuation are things that are set in order. This is speaking of the orderly account of the procession that is carrying the Aron. It is carried in a specific way. The leaders carry it and the people go after it. Your valuation in shekels, H8254, this is something weighed out. Gold, silver, copper. The Kohanim, the Liwayim bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. The value is weighed out. The shekel of the silver, kesef is silver. The verb means to long for. This is why Yochanan says that we love one another. This is the silver in the verse, or as it reads in Yahushua, set out from your place and go after it. Okay. According to the shekel of the Kodesh, this is something weighed out as set apart. It is Kodesh. H69, 40, 40, uh, 44 is weighed out in the definition. Set apartness of Yahuwah, speaking of places, of things surrounding him. We are to love that. Love one another. Because people have changed a few things, and now it does not matter what his name is. It's not set apart anymore. It is blasphemed. Blasphemy is sin. Religion has trespassed against the word of Yahuwah Elohim. Okay, he's warning us against these things. These lines of survey are given as a trespass offering to help us see that we are to love one another. What Yahuwah has written in the Abrit, found in the Torah, set out from your place, whatever false beliefs you may have, okay, set out from that place and go after it, go after the, the Torah, and love those who promote the unblemished, unblemished truth of it. Before I leave this frame, I want to point out another hidden message here in the survey line, sorry. This is telling us that the Aron of the Barit of Yahuwah will resurface very soon. And we will see it. Because that is where the Adut that Yahuwah has given me to share with you these past few years is kept. You have seen what is written according to the line and precept. It will appear. And the powers that be will escort it. 
So stay tuned to find out a few things before you go after it. Amen. Amen. Take heed to the message because the time of vengeance is coming upon the whole world. Adonai Yahushua HaMashiach will come according to the word of Yahuwah. So pay close attention. All who repent and are immersed in his name so as by water will be saved. So sound the alarm. Remember, blow the shofar. Yom Teruah is near. Shabbat Shalom, Mishpah.